Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan. And in this video, I am back with Chuck at Principal Barbershop and he's gonna be showing all of you guys how to style your hair, what products you should be using based on your specific hair type, how to get more volume, really just covering all of the hair styling questions. So let's get started. What are the proper steps in styling your hair? The, the proper steps in styling your hair, I think, is drying it almost completely dry, either with a hair dryer or a towel, combing it, setting the style in how you want it to look, then adding the small amount of product to start. Most people say start in the back, but um, I say start in the front. You just evenly distribute the product through your hair and then use a, a wide tooth comb or a brush to put it back in place after you put the product in. All right guys, so today Chuck is gonna be walking us through how to style your hair. So I know a lot of you guys probably go to the barber, you sit down, you leave, your hair looks amazing, and then you get home and you have no idea how the heck to style it. So Chuck's gonna be showing us today how exactly he works his magic so that all of you guys can have that fresh from the barber look at home. Okay, so we have our model here. He has a little bit of curl in the hair and I've wet it already um, to start from scratch. So what I like to do if there's a little bit of stubborn curl um, is start with the foundation of product when the hair is a little bit wet. So I'm gonna use a medium hold styling paste. Um, it's, very, uh, it's very light whipped up, just a little bit of a fingerful. Yeah, so what you wanna do is just mix it in so well that it, it um, emulsifies completely and it's transparent on your hands. That's when you know um, after like 30 seconds of rubbing your hands together, um, it shouldn't take longer than that. If it takes longer, that means you have too much. So I started with just a little bit of a, th a fingerful, um, emulsified it in my hands, applying it to the wet hair. And Teddy's hair is a little bit wavy, a little bit curly, which we really like that. So we don't wanna straighten the hair and make it straight. So I'm just using a little bit of this uh, styling paste to get it evenly distributed through the hair. And then I'll start to blow it dry. And before I blow it dry, um, to increase volume on any type of hair, um, you'll want to blow it dry the opposite way in which you style it. That will bend the follicle the opposite way and increase a natural volume. So Teddy's natural pattern falls to his left. So what I'm gonna do is try and control the hair and blow it dry to the right. So when I pop it back over, he'll have an increased natural volume. That's a good tip for any guy who wants to get more volume on their hair. If it's straight, curly, or wavy, blow it dry, add heat uh, to the root of the hair on the opposite way that it naturally falls, and then style it the way you wanna style it, and it'll increase your volume. When you're blowing your hair dry, always go with the contour of your head um, if you have a style that you want to be pushing back. Um, so follow your hands, or follow the air with your hands and bring it back like this. Um, and then always point the air down so the, the moisture will leave the follicle instead of blowing it up uh, because that will just create more work. The hair will want to stand up, you'll want it to lay down, so just always go with the contour of the hair. By adding air to the hair opposite in which it falls, we've created a natural volume uh, with a little bit of that base product. There's a little bit of shine. It's pulled the curl in a more controllable style. And um, it's going to allow me to add the finishing spray to, can, to keep the style uh, uh, held and in place. So does the hair need to be completely dry before putting in anything else? Um, mostly dry? It's mostly dry. I mean, I got a little bit of moisture back here, which is okay. Um, but right where you want the most volume, you want to get it as dry as you, you can. Okay. And the difference between using a blow dryer and then if he would have just let it air dry, like how would that change the way that it looks? It would have changed the volume. If you're letting your hair air dry, you won't get as much volume. Uh, Teddy has a nice wave and natural volume in his hair, but I've created more volume by blowing it and uh, dry and adding heat opposite to which it falls. Mm -hmm. um, 
So you can achieve a nice style with air dry and product, but you won't have a, you'll have less of a finished look if it's air dry. Okay, I see. So now what I want to add is a spray wax. This is a, a low shine, it's a matte finish product that is going to control Teddy's wave, but keep the shape of the cut. So we're gonna bring the sides in a little bit tighter. We're gonna get a little bit more volume in the top, but the, the wax will hold the style in place. And with this, any type of spray product, you wanna start the direction toward the root and pull with your hand and get it to the end of the follicle. Um, this will help evenly distribute the product so you actually end up using a lot less. And guys can easily do this at home. Themselves. Oh yeah, I mean this is just, this is spray and move through your hair. Mm -hmm. Easy two step, little, little free with the blow dryer, but. Yeah, you don't need the blow dryer for this, but it just gives a nice finished look. Okay. Um, and now you can, with the length of Teddy's hair, you can create a nice part. Um, in this side, you can do a nice pushback, like softer part. Um, there's a there's a little bit of versatility with his particular haircut. But and does he have pretty thick hair? Yeah, it? Teddy has thick hair. His hair is um, it's soft, but it's thick, and he has a lot of it. So the quantity is a lot. Um, so with that, you know, using as the least amount of product is good when you have a lot of hair mm -hmm. um, because you don't. You don't want to take it on and it gets too heavy and then it just falls flat. Right. Chuck, you know I have that little stubborn area that's hard for me to style on that far right side of my head. I think, yeah. Um, what advice would you give for somebody like that who's like has a tricky spot maybe when they're going in to get a cut but also to make sure they can grow into it so they can continue to style it and it's not uh, you know, maybe sticking out from the side of their head? Two options. You either cut it completely off or you let it grow a little bit longer to control it with product. This is the area in particular we're talking about. Yep. Teddy's, Teddy's hair actually grows down and toward his face, but he likes to style it back. So if this hair is too short, it ends up sticking straight out and it's uncontrollable. So what I like to do when I cut his hair is I leave it longer, about a half of an inch. Um, so when it's styled, the product will catch in, or the hair will catch the product and it will, it will give it a nice shape. So if you have any tricky areas or colics in the back, Make sure you let your barber know ahead of time so they know to either leave it longer or cut it completely off. And then if a guy was sitting here and he had thinner hair, I know Teddy has very thick hair, but would they be able to use those products as well or is there something else that you would recommend for them? Yeah, for thin hair, I always recommend a matte finish. Um, you don't want a, a shine product, something that is gonna make your hair look wet or glossy. Mm -hmm. With thin hair, when it looks, when it is wet, it looks a lot thinner than it really is. Okay. So if your hair is thin, you wanna avoid any shine product. Um, you want a matte, you want a, um, a clay, you want um, a density paste, mm -hmm. anything that's gonna bring your hair to fuller and um, no shine. So I also wanted to go over the different types of product to use because I get a lot of questions from you guys about that, like which product creates a certain look, which product would be good for your specific hairstyle and hair type, so Chuck's gonna cover all of that today. So I have to start our um, our Layrite product, it's a it's an original pomade, so this is basically set up like a gel, um, but it's completely water soluble and it adds a high shine to your hair. Um, you're only gonna wanna use this small fingertip full of it, but it, it adds a control and a shine to your hair. And you said you would avoid using those if you have thin hair? Yes, if you have thin hair, I would move away from any type of high shine or a pomade um, because it's gonna make your hair look a lot thinner than it really is. If you have thin hair, um, we recommend the Kevin Murphy Night Rider. This is a maximum control texture paste. Um, there's no shine on this, and its consistency is more of like butter. Um, and it's used by a little bit in your hair. It'll control it, it'll put it in place, and it, it won't look shiny. Moving to a clay, a lot of people ask for clays. I like the Kevin Murphy Rough Rider. Um, this has a little bit more natural ingredient. Um, it kind of feels like mud um, or like a wet sand. There's a lot of texture in this product. Um, you use extremely not a lot of this. It's really popular uh, for guys with thin hair. I recommend this. If they use too much of that too, can't you can kind of see the color 
in your hair too, or does yeah. it kind of fade out? If you use too much of this, it'll feel actually greasy, okay. um, just because of the natural ingredients and then the beeswax inside. Mm -hmm. So you want to use a little bit, but a lot, a little goes a long way. And then if you move to a medium, a little bit of shine, I really like the freehold. Uh, from Kevin Murphy. This is what I put in Teddy's hair as a base. It covered the follicle and made it to be controlled as I was blowing it dry. Um, this is a little bit more wet. Um, it's very light um, and it will add a little bit of shine. The scent on this is really great. Um, it's clean and refreshing. Um, so this is like probably my best selling um, product on my website. So this is good for thick hair. If you have thin hair and want to try this, use a little bit to start. You'll, um, it has a little bit of a shine, so you might want to stay a little bit away from that. But this is really good product as well. And do you use that on wet hair only, or can you use those on dry hair too? All this can be wet or dry. Okay. Um, I like to put a little bit of a base when there is a little bit of a movement to the hair, if it's curly or wavy. I like to start with the base add product, blow it dry, and then use a finishing spray, um, which I really like. Touchable from Kevin Murphy. This is a spray wax, so it's a very low shine, um, and it's called touchable because you can continue to touch your hair all throughout the day, and it's not going to get crunchy, flake out, end up on your shirt. Um, it just stays in your hair. All right, so a quick recap on what we did on Teddy's hair today. Uh, we started with wet hair. I added a foundation of the freehold from Kevin Murphy into his wet hair. Um, I blew his hair dry. I made sure that I added heat to his hair the opposite way that he wanted to style it to encourage a natural volume, which we have achieved here. Um, also, I've spent a little bit extra time on his trouble areas, which stick out. Um, so I added a little bit more of the touchable spray wax around um, all throughout his hair, but a little extra in the uh, trouble areas that stick out. Um, and then I mostly used my hands, but at the end to make sure the style was complete, I used my wide tooth comb and my other hand, and I'm just making sure that the hair is being combed to lay flat on either side, and then giving it a little bit of more volume on the top. And as you can see, the, the product of Touchable gives a little bit of a pull, so it, it makes that curl a little bit more straight, but we're still achieving a volume that stays in place. Looks really natural too. I like that it doesn't look all crunchy. And... Yeah, that's the beauty of the Touchable product. It doesn't get crunchy. You can continue to put your hands throughout, or put your hands through your hair throughout the day, and it's only gonna get uh, a better shape. All right guys, that is all I have for today. If you guys liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this style of video. It's always really fun to get out of my comfort zone a little and do these videos with some other professionals that can help all of you guys out as well. Obviously, Chuck knows a thing or two about hair more than I do. So let me know if you liked it down below. That kind of gives me an idea of what you guys wanna see from me in the future. If there's anything related to hair or anything else you would want me to do with Chuck, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. So all the products mentioned in today's video, Chuck actually sells at his barber shops. If you want to support him, I'm going to leave a little link to his website and all the products in the description that you guys can go check out if you're interested. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.